Silicon Valley, technology, art, green, and sustainability. Welcome to another episode of Silicon Valley Tech, Art, Green, and Sustainability, svtags.org. And today I'm so honored to have Trish Dorsey and Ryan Gleason, Director of Operations and, uh, I'm sorry, VP of Operations? Director of Operations. And Vice President of Mission Services. Correct. Which yeah. I, I was just blown away when I went to the Senior Roundtable and you talked about all the services you guys right. do. It's just incredible. But before we go there about the goodwill, um, let's uh, let's find out a little bit about both of you. Would you like to Would you like to start off and tell sure. us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Well, I'll tell you about myself and Goodwill only because that's been my life. <laughs> I've been there for twenty years. Shut the door. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So I started actually in Santa Cruz at the Goodwill there, okay. um, Santa Cruz Monterey Bay, and I was in the retail side of things over there. And then I moved to the San Jose office, which is the Silicon Valley Goodwill and uh, have been there for 13 years. So, um, and I'm doing the mission work and wow. the programs that you're referring to. So, Well, it's great work that you do. Yeah, yeah, it's, you know, it's a great organization and it's one that, I mean, who ever thought I'd be in one organization for 20 years. And are you from the Bay Area originally? No, or? no, I'm not. But I've, I've lived in this area Where long enough originally? that I kind of feel like this is my home. Um, Pennsylvania. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I've been here for 30 years, so. Yeah. So yeah. no, no accident. I can hear a little something now you're talking. You it's probably good. do. It's yeah. a little bit of a draw. A little, a little, yeah. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. yeah. It's good. And then Ryan, what about you? Um, how long have you been with the Goodwill? Where are you from originally? May, May May was 12 years for me. Wow. I was hired 12 years ago by a young lady named Trish Dorsey. <laughs> um, and before that, two and a half years with the Salvation Army. So my my work history for the majority of my adult life has been in nonprofit and the operational end. Uh, before that, it was mostly it was very eclectic with a lot of trade work, industry work, but um, I'll be, I'll be charitable, charitable to myself today and say I was aimless before I came. Did you go to college for working no. in operations? No, or I didn't. Okay, no, I didn't. So, you, so you really made your career path then, yeah. I did, I have a knack for it. And you said you were from the Bay Area originally? From San Jose, I was born, okay. born in born San Jose. Born and raised? Yeah. Yay, yeah. San Jose. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So tell us about the Goodwill. Of course, I, I love the Goodwill, so I know all about the Goodwill, and now I know more that I heard your presentation, but tell us about the Goodwill and what you guys are up to. Sure, there's so much to say. Um, you know, it's funny because you said you had no idea uh, what we do, what we're really all about. And we do tours at Goodwill for anyone who's interested, but we do them all the time and show them what we're about. And we call it the uh, I had no idea tour because yeah. <laughs> it, at some point through the tour, invariably somebody says, I had no idea. Um, so on the mission uh, arena within Goodwill, we do a lot of programs and most of the, so we have adult and youth. And with the adult programs, we're really focusing on helping people who have barriers to employment to become employed. And so we facilitate that, whether that means some training that they might need, um, industry certification, maybe just job search and readiness skills. Um, we also do a transitional jobs program where we utilize this, the social enterprise as a tool for folks who um, aren't otherwise employable at this moment, we employ them and we provide them with additional supports, uh, job coaching and a lot of workshops they're there for 12 months, and then we work with them in their transition into employment outside of Goodwill. So there's a lot of employment-focused work that we do. We're really about facilitating folks who want to make a change to be able to make that change. We give them the opportunity, and, and then they take it. I'm going to pull up the first slide, too, because I think on the first slide we have, um, yep, so there's your mission, um, and it's a little small probably for people to read unless they have a really large uh, TV. Yeah. So they can go to goodwillsv.org and take a look at the mission, which again, you can pull that down. I'm just blown away at everything that you do. And I, I think there was like 50 programs that you went over. Yeah, well, something. I don't know if it's 50, but it's a lot. Yeah. And it's, that's why I said it's a lot to talk about here, but it is, uh, yes, we do, and we're growing all the time. I mean, we've grown every year. Uh, we've expanded our programs to serve additional populations and um, just doing a lot, of, a lot of fun stuff. It's a great organization. Yeah. How many employees do you guys have? 
Mm -hmm. Eight. Eight. About eight hundred and five. It was eight hundred and five last check. Wow. And that's just in the valley. Yeah. The, Santa the, Clara and San Benito County. Okay. Okay. Um, and retail stores. Is it nineteen or is 19. it more? Nineteen. Nineteen. 19. Is there more For opening? Now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, there's a couple. <clears throat> Uh, soon, soon, in about a year and a half, we're looking at a, a, a new spot. But we're also, uh, uh, we and we have been undergoing a lot of um, uh, store remodels. And right now, we have a couple of big ones in in, in process. I'm going to pull up a slide too on uh, for for that. I think we have a couple slides to pull up. Um, yeah. Oh, here's here's the mission services one. I guess we should have pulled up earlier. Oh, okay. With uh, new opportunity programs, yeah. veteran placement, veteran family services. Autism Spectrum Employment Program, which is really cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. Youth Program and Wellness. And then let's pull up the next one. And so this is some of the locations when I pulled up Bay Area. Um, I think the one on the, the corner is the Goodwill Willow Glen, which I love that one. Pull up the next one. And there's a couple more, which I think one of them wasn't yours, and we could pull those down. One on the they left is Alum Rock, right? Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah, and then and the one on the bottom, one. yes, no, that's maybe. No, that's our Alum Rock That's Alum Rock. Okay, mm -hmm. and the one on the top, probably, I don't know. Um, the brick one looks like the one in Palo Alto, the one that's off yeah. El Camino. Mm -hmm. We could pull that. That was down. on the first slide, but okay, yeah, it okay. Was. Which the rooftop? Mm -hmm. That's one that's of my right. favorite ones. So I'm actually the what I'm wearing today. This dress I either got at the Palo Alto or the Campbell one. Um, I'm a big fan, of course, of reusing and reclaiming. Um, so you know, someone's junk, is someone else's is, is treasure, right? Right. Um, so more stores in the works, then you said, or Th that that'll be the future. Um, we're, we're, we'll be looking at new models as um, the business climate change is changing, and we're gonna, going to have to adjust to the new business climate. It's, it's getting more and more expensive to operate in California and Silicon Valley, so we're going to have to adjust our business. We run our business, our, business, our social enterprise, we run it like a for-profit business that supports our mission. Mm -hmm. So just like every other business in Silicon Valley, we'll have to adjust as well to remain mm -hmm. a healthy. To rents going up and electricity and water. And minimum wage and yeah. everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. which is, is it, it's almost 15 now, isn't it? An hour? It's, it's soon. Yeah, 10.30 currently in San Jose. But it's probably going to go up soon. Um, the programs to help adult and youth, do you want to talk about that a little bit? or Sure. So, so with the adult, on the adult side, like I said earlier, it's really about helping people to find their employment uh, path and then get them on that, that path. So, so it's all around self-sustaining, um, getting folks out of poverty, or even someone who you know, was uh, working and their job was eliminated and they need to retool. You know, they, that's the folks that we would work with. We also work with the reentry population. We have a, a great relationship with the County of Santa Clara. So for example, someone that maybe had a child and they haven't worked in a while and now they're reentering the workforce? No, 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 I'm sorry. So reentry, see that we have this jargon, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> reentry is those those people that are coming out of the criminal justice system. Okay, okay. That and so we have this county contract with them and, and we work with all kinds of folks and it's been an awesome uh, program with just the the, the amount of folks that have gotten placed into jobs and have not gone back into the system is incredible. And so it's been a real success. Then as you see, we work with the veteran population um, and other other low education. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the next slide okay. right now too. If Gopher could pull that up and it has, so here we've got the career services. You're right. Um, this was from your website. And again, right. I'm, I heard your talk, so it's more expansive than just these line listings, but the A-plus computer repair, good guard program, which I saw you guys are looking for people right now on yeah. that on yeah. your website. Uh -huh. um, employment readiness program, um, the transitional work experience program, vocational, uh, professional workshops, and English classes, mm -hmm. and U.S. citizen prep classes, which is just um, fabulous. We can pull that down. Um, yeah, so there's just so much. There's so much, and that's all on the adult side, and then there's the youth side. So there's a whole nother uh, arena that we're in, which is helping out-risk youth in the high schools. And then I would pull up one other slide, too, because I think this one also has to do with your, yep, so the Employment Ready Program, which I had to ask you what the ERP yeah. was, <laughs> yeah. and vocational construction. So we can pull that down. So I, I'm interested in both of those. Tell me about those. A little bit. Okay, so I'll <laughs> I'll jump in. Sure. Okay. Um, so the employee readiness program is the, the transitional jobs program. So we take the folks who come to us who really want to work, but they're having difficulty in obtaining that work. So we'll bring them into our social enterprise, whether it's retail stores, warehousing, um, a variety of different places, 
and give them 12 months of paid work experience, but it's more than that. They get additional support, so they have a job coach that works with them very closely. Um, they have workshops that they are mandated to go to in addition to the paid work experience, and they get paid to go to the workshops. Um, and so, and we give them transportation assistance and food assistance and whatever it might be, so that during that 12 months, they're really getting ready to then transition on into mainstream work. And, and then the construction vocational? 